My name is Celia Vega. I'm a lifelong member of, of Our Lady Guadalupe Parish. I guess my involvement, I always tell everybody, began when my mom would bring us um, to do the food preparations. Even when we were little, she always said that there was it's always something for someone to do, no matter how old you are, no matter how young you are. And so I guess you could say, I've always been here. I remember as a young kid, um, coming, the men coming at three o'clock in the morning and start cooking the beans. Um, and then you, right after that, you had the men coming in doing the potatoes, cooking the potatoes. Um, there were a lot of things that, that just seemed like there was somebody here 24-7. I think the calendar year is probably still the same in the preparations for the tamales and the spicing of the meat and, and that such, but the daily operations have been a lot more streamlined. I start um, communicating with our, our parish secretary or parish office manager um, usually in October and I start conversing with her and you know, you know do we need to increase amounts, do we need to decrease amounts, um, just trying to get a forecast on uh, what we think an estimate of people will come to buy the food. In November I start sending her the numbers of what products to order and, and how much to order. In December we start advertising for volunteers to start cleaning the chili ancho which we use for the fiesta and actually in January we start with the preparations of the fiesta tamales and immediately right after that we start with um, the spicing of the chorizo meat that we use daily. This is uh, basically our first transition year. We have two facilities that we'd be able to prepare food and maybe make it a little bit more um, easier for our daily food captains that we have. Hopefully with this upcoming year we could maybe ease it up a little bit on our parishioners and give them a little break now that we have our new facility and our kitchens are operational. Like I tell people, you don't need to know how to cook to come and help. Um, there's always something that you can do. I am more than willing to always show somebody how to, how to do it. I, I, I figure the more knowledge that somebody has, then the more they'll come back. So we have parents, we have students, we have families, we have grandparents coming down to work. It's just astounding the people that come down to help and they um, come down to have a good um, time and to learn. The saying, and you hear it throughout the whole parish, is as long as God is able for me to come down and gives me my health, then I will be here. Of course, any mother's wish is that their children would take something from what they've learned from me. And hopefully, um, as they get older, I, they're still in their teenagers, so they still like to ride the rides. Um, hopefully, they will want to learn how to do this. Um, of course, as teenagers, just said, I'll never do what you do. I'll never do that. And I found myself, I'll never say what my parents said or I'll never do this. And I find myself finding the reason why we do it. It's tradition. It's for the love of our, of our school, the love of our parish, and to keep the youth involved with us.